Hello everyone, welcome to Wikilevs Africa session at Wiki Daba 2023. I am excited to have every one of you joining us for today's presentation. Um, the topic of this presentation will be Wiki Loves Africa, because Wiki really love Africa. And my name is Wilson. I will be anchoring this presentation. Um, uh, I hope you enjoy it as much as I did preparing it. <laughs> yep. So straight to today's business. Uh, we'll start with uh, one of the most, I think for now, it's it's our guiding principle. It, is, it was a quote. It is a quote, actually. But it's become our guiding principle. And it's a quote by Ada Mouliné. And uh, made this quote in 2017 on Al Jazeera. And the quote says, photography continues to play a key role in how we are seen, not just as Africans, but as black people from every corner of the world. Stereotypes and prejudices are incited by images. And if it's used yet again to undermine those of us who are truly doing the difficult work, then we need to have some uncomfortable conversations. Now, these quotes uh, exemplifies what we do at Wiki in Af at Wikilove's Africa. At Wiki in Africa, through Wikilove's Africa, yeah. Uh, Wikilove's Africa tries to redefine the African narrative through the use of media. At the beginning, we started with photographs, but we have evolved and we are now able to accommodate uh, videos and audio. As a matter of fact, this year, there was 2023, there was such an, uh, an upsurge in submissions of amazing video video uploads for the 2023 contest and i'll talk about that uh, later in the presentation so we're trying our best to prevent the one story that's being told about africa all the time that we are all very uh unhappy about and we try to uh, showcase africa every year with the theme uh, the different parts of Africa, the different conversations, the different narratives of Africa that exist uh, through the use of media, uh, photographs, video, audio, etc. Uh, I will quickly take you through what we have been able to do in the while that we've been around. And I'm hoping that by the end of this uh, presentation, if you have never participated in Wiki Loves Africa, you will consider doing that now. And if you are already a participant, then uh, perhaps you will have more reason to continue working with us. I'm excited. Thank you so much. Uh, so the summary of this presentation is uh, nine years of Wiki Loves Africa. By the way, next year is our 10th year anniversary. Drum roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a, a, an interesting time so far. And we will be having some activities in the course of the... 2024 iteration of the Wiki Loves Africa contest to commemorate the 10th year anniversary of Wiki Loves Africa. So yeah, does Wiki really love Africa? Well, the answer is yes, uh, because uh, on this chart you can see over the years that uh, it, it has been a consistent phase of growth. Uh, in 2014, we had just over 5,000 at the mating edition. We had just over 5,000 uh, contributors, contributions, and uh, uh, a few contributors. Our peak was in 2017. You can see we had just a little under 20,000, over 15,000 contributions. And uh, also in 2020, we replicated the same feat, and 2022. 2023 was a very interesting year because uh, the theme was uh, climate and weather, and we saw an overwhelming uh, desire to participate from all of the participants, and we saw quite an interesting number of contributions, about 13,000 uh, photos alone, or 220 plus videos and audios. It was quite an interesting uh, uh, contest. I will explain I'll give some of the details uh, as we proceed. Uh, yeah. So just to look at some stats, we can see some of the stats there. Uh, uh, we have uh, about 11,165 competitors from 55 countries so far. 
we have had all the Wiki Loves Africa pictures that have been uploaded in the, in the course of the contest has been viewed 1.23 billion times as of January 2023. That's huge, if you ask me. Uh, we've also had about uh, 102,026 uh, images have been entered in the duration of the contest. Wiki Loves Africa pictures are viewed 28 million times every single month. And these statistics we're taking as a January 2023. And also, we lost recently, actually, one of the pictures from Wikileaks Africa contest uh, emerged as the winning photo for a UNESCO exhibition that was held in Paris, France. These are huge starts. These are just a few of the many starts that we have for the contest. And it's just to show you how much impact Wikileaks Africa has had in the course of its nine-year run. So Wiki Loves Africa 2023, exciting. I'm sure you're excited. It was a very interesting contest. And I was privileged to facilitate this particular, to oversee the project for Wiki Loves Africa 2023. And uh, I'm sure many of us here have had uh, some time to interact and communicate in the course of doing that. I'll just go straight to the details. The theme was climate and weather. And uh, we called for photographs for video and audio. And it started in March 2023 and closed in on the 30th of April 2023. Uh, the stats are very interesting. We had a number of 13,386 images, excluding uh, 228 videos and 28 audios. We also had uh, 785 contributors, with Nigeria having the highest number of contributors. Uh, impressive, really, to tell you. Uh, we also had 54 countries participate, including Madagascar, Madeira, and Niger, some of which were first-time participants and uh, also very impressive. Uh, we had uh, at least 20 local events that held around Wikileaks Africa. Uh, and these were only the documented events. There were several other events that held that. Unfortunately, we could not uh, track the documentation because the local organizers did not uh, uh, did not notify us about the events. But we're working on that to make sure that next time we have uh, full graphs of all the local events that are happening around Wikileaks Africa going forward. So to the winning images, the first prize for 2023 was by a photographer called Sani Katanga from Nigeria. And this is the winning photo. Uh, Michael Mags, one of the jurors, one of the jurors from the photo jury had uh, some interesting comments to make. He says this striking photograph captures a stark reality of communities engulfed by floodwaters, the vibrant colors and clarity heightened the emotional intensity and visual impact of the image. The image was taken in Nigeria and uh, uh, Sani tried his best to, to uh, capture what is apparently uh, a once in a uh, and once in a time kind of photograph, and uh, apparently that also paid off by helping him win the first prize for the contest. The second prize was by Mohammed Nasib. Mohammed is an Egyptian, and he took this picture in Somalia. The title of the picture is "Stormy Day in Somalia." And uh, Rachel, one of the jurors, had this to say. The composition of the mother staring into the distance while the child stares directly into the camera holding a panga as if his fate has been sealed is emotionally rendering. This image tells a global, local, and personal heartbreaking story. A very emotional image of a woman in Somalia. And, uh, of course... The jury, the jury thought it uh, the best entry for the second prize. The third prize was taken by Mohammed Osman, and the title of the photo is Kids and the River. Uh, Sama Kamal had this to say about the pictures. She says, a wonderful natural scene in terms of composition, lightning, and colors. On the other hand, we find these boys standing, looking at their future and the negative effects that await them as a result of evaporation and the drying up of rivers as a result of climate change. Uh, Mohammed Osman is Sudanese, and uh, he also won one of the local prizes 
at the Sudanese community. Amazing guy. Congratulations to all of the photo winners. The best video prize was taken by Green, Wilfred Shomoni. Wilfred is Nigerian and uh, he's not new to the of Africa. Wilfred has won quite, uh, I think, two or three other uh, prizes around the video. And uh, when we asked him, how did you get to this? He said, oh, I built a story around the theme for Wikileaks Africa, Africa, 2023 climate and weather to illustrate how climate change affects people and their personal relationships, especially those living below the poverty line. The person video, there's a link content that you can uh, uh, get to watch the video on Wikimedia Commons. Congratulations, Green. And a very interesting entry this year was done by Abu Bakar Tanimu from Nigeria. Uh, he submitted this uh, audio called Change Immersion, which emerged as the best audio prize. You should listen to this audio. It's amazing. And uh, Green Wilfred had this to say. He said, simply, wow, I could see it all. You took me on a journey around Africa, the calm, high lows, joy and pain of it. I felt it all. And um, this entry was no doubt the best uh, entry for the category of best audio. And it was won by uh, Abu Bakar Abdullahi Tanimu. Great, great, great submission. We look forward to having interesting submissions around audio in 2024 contest. And we're trying our best to provide all the support to make sure that happens. The, this year also we had to we had a category for the African Environment Prizes uh, that was sponsored by the African Union through the African Knowledge Initiative, and uh, two particular prizes stuck out, and that was the African Environment Video Prize that was won by Alamin Mohammed from Nigeria. Also, again, I'm sure some of you will say Nigeria, 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 but the truth is. Uh, we did get a ton of a ton of video submissions from uh, other countries, and the jury was the one who decided. This year, we had a video jury, particularly because uh, we had so many good submissions, and so we put together a jury, which I have to tell you is the first time any Wikimedia organization is doing that. And uh, the jury helped us through the jury process for the video and came up with these uh, submissions as the winning entries. And Faisal, one of the members of that video jury, had this to say. He said, a video that stands out very well filmed, beautiful image, quality, well calibrated, that tells a story. The emotional component is very important and very present throughout the video. Awesome video by Aminu, by Alamin Mohammed from Nigeria, and uh, no doubt a winner. Uh, the next category, and the final category was the African Environment Special Collection Prize. ACE was won by the Wikilove's Africa Côte d'Ivoire Fan Club. And it was led by Abubaka Kamati, also known as Bubakams. Bubakams, great guy from Côte d'Ivoire. Abubaka uh, said, uh, we submitted these videos as a local organizer of Wikilove's Africa. Twin Twin in Côte d'Ivoire when organizing the event. I had no, I had in mind to submit the very best videos and could speak that could speak of this year's theme. Abubakar Kamate is Abubakar Kamate is uh, a recurring winner for of the Wiki Loves Africa contest. One time he also won the best video uh, in 2021, I think. Yes, and uh, uh, he's been such an inspiration this year. Abubakar led a team of enthusiasts, film enthusiasts, to submit. Uh, about uh, 13, 13 videos for the Wiki Loves Africa contest 2023. And all submissions were amazing. So much that the jury thought for the special collection prize, which is a collection of videos that tell about the impact of climate change for the contest, Abubakar Kamate and the Wiki Loves Africa Côte d'Ivoire fan club were selected. Big ups, Abubakar. Congratulations. Very impressive submission. Looking forward to what you'll do in 2024. I'm excited and looking forward to however way we can support yourself, your team, and every other team who is willing to participate. So uh, that's all for Wikilos Africa 2023. And the organizers, of course, are, are the very, very beautiful Isla, uh, the very amiable Florence. 
from France, I love from South Africa, myself, Wilson, also coming from Nigeria, uh, Rachel Zadok from South Africa helped us with communications, and uh, the very exciting Winnie. They've, sorry, I said Winnie, the very exciting Noni. I don't know why I said Winnie, but uh, Noni is such an exciting, very helpful person and made all of these people together made Wikilove's Africa 2023 a success. Not forgetting, of course, our partners, all of the people who who assisted us in one way. Wikimedia Algeria, Wikimedia Benin, Wikimedia Botswana, uh, uh, Wikimedia Cameroon, Wikimedia Congo, uh, Wikimedia Conakry, Wikimedia Haiti, Wikimedia Hausa, Sudan, South Sudan, South Africa, Shupai, I see you, Rwanda, Open Foundation, West Africa, Wikimedia Nigeria, Ayo, I see you, Wikimedia Morocco, I see you, Munir, well done, and yeah, you're also our host for the Wiki in Dava contest, great to have such an opportunity, Wikimedia Mali, the Igbo Wikimedia user group, yay, congratulations, Wikimedia Tanzania, Wikimedia Chad, Togo, Tiap Wikimedia user group, which is the first time participating. Good to have you. Wikimedia Uganda, Wikimedia Yoruba, Wikimedia Full Fully. Awesome guys, awesome guys, awesome work, really. The planning Wikimedia community for Burundi, Campus Photo Festival, Congo Brazzaville. The Wikimedia Senior Citizens Network. Thank you guys so much. Also, first time participant. We love you. We are excited to have you. We look forward to your participation in the year 2024. And uh, of course, all of the exciting things that come with participating in Wiki Loves Africa. Uh, if you missed this, you can also catch up on all of the details around the Wiki Loves Africa 2023 contest that was summarized in the episode 31 of the Wiki Africa Hour titled Meet the Winners. The event held on the 29th of September 2023, and there is a, a link on the slide there, you can just see the BIT link that links you to the presentation uh, recorded on YouTube. So to the future of Wiki Loves Africa 2024, we went through a very transparent process that saw us receive suggestions from everyone who participates or is as a stakeholder or is involved, the past winner, a judge, a jury, whatever in Wiki Loves Africa over the years. And we decided to listen to whatever were the resolutions from that process. And you all spoke, various suggestions, and we heard what you said and finalized on the theme for Wiki Loves Africa 2024, which is Africa Creates. Details about this theme will be unfolded gradually and published on the Wikilove's Africa channels. And uh, we encourage everyone to please anticipate, prepare, do all that you need to do to be able to participate in the Wikilove's Africa contest. And by the time you see this video, the deadline for the rapid grants will have closed. However, I want to encourage you to also seek support if you miss that deadline from various other channels. We are aware that Wikimedia Nigeria and uh, some other Wikimedia affiliates will be providing some sort of micro-grant support. So please explore them as many as you are able to. Uh, nevertheless, if you need any challenge, if you have any challenge or you need any help, you can always reach out to me and I'll be willing to guide you. So thank you so much for listening to this presentation. Remember our social media channels on Facebook and Twitter on Instagram and Telegram and the website wikilovesafrica.net. A big thank you to everyone who made this possible. Big thank you to Wiki Indaba. Um, we thank you to Wikimedia uh, Wiscom, of course, Wiscom, uh, Wikimedia Community in Morocco, Wiki uh, Media Foundation, and of course, Wiki in Africa. Thank you guys so much and God bless. Cheers.